Hello everyone, in this video I am going to review and test the GTX 1660 Super. Recently price on Amazon for this card dropped to $130, which is an amazing price for this GPU. Hit the like button and let's start. Even though this card was released 3 years ago, you can still get decent FPS in new games. I got a version from EVGA, it's a solid quality version with good cooling, a metal backplate and good port configuration, HDMI, DisplayPort and DVI. Let's do a quick run through the specs. It's a PCIe 3.0 card with 6GB of VRAM. It's a GDDR6 192-bit memory with a clock up to 14,000 mHz. We have 1400 CUDA cores with a boost to 1830 MHz. Card also requires 8 pin connector. With that said, let's install this card. I'm going to pair it with Ryzen 5 4600G build. You can check the video on this channel about it. So in this build I have a 450 watts PSU installed. This card requires only 120 watts, so we should be good here. Installation is pretty straightforward. Gently remove a couple of brackets from the back, make sure the clip is unlocked and just gently slide GPU in a port until the clip is locked in place. Screw the graphics card and plug in an 8 pin connector from PCU. Finally, let's move to the test. In 3D Mark, we are hitting 6075 points. During the benchmark, the GPU temperature stays under 63 degrees. All games I tested in 1080p resolution. The third game on test is Apex Legends. On the high settings, getting smooth around 100 FPS all time. Tested the competitive settings also. Effects on low textures and filtering set to high, in that case getting 130 most of the time with the raise to 144 and drops to 100 sometimes. Next PUBG on ultra settings 1080p getting 50 to 60 fps with no freezes and on high settings it's around 75 fps. Next is Valorant and here we have 200 fps on the high settings. As you can see any online game is not a problem for this card. So let's move to more demanding single player games. Days gone highest graphics settings getting 75 to 85 fps the game runs smoothly with no freezes elden ring max settings with motion blur off getting 60 fps but with drops to around 55 fps in loaded scenes spider-man remastered highest graphics settings 60 to 80 fps all time this game is tested with the side panel closed and after some time the max temperature i got it's 60 degrees for cpu and under 65 degrees for gpu these are great results, but I must say that this system is built in a case with a good airflow. GTX 1660 Super is an excellent fit for 1080p gaming, and I think it's not going to lose this position soon. MSRP for this card is $230, and right now you can find it on Amazon for $200. You can also keep track of price drops and get it even cheaper. I'll leave a link below. And if you want to check how 10th generation i3 handles this card, click on this video on your screen.